Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to the Factory playthrough. I am just crafting up all the things we are going to need for this uh, really modular machine. And uh, it's actually not its actually not that bad, to be honest, uh, because the modular arm only uses 50 deuterium. So it's, uh, yeah, it's actually not that bad. Um, as we can see, I already have... 2000 I crafted up a stack there and uh yeah so this is running I don't know I haven't figured out the exact it's like what is that like two seconds two to three seconds for 10 so like every you know maybe 10 seconds we have enough for another ingot of modularium so it's actually really not um, I was thinking it was gonna be like super long because um, originally I thought this was the thousand. I needed like one bucket, but uh, I definitely don't need that um, that much. But uh, one thing I do want to get finally, <laughs> uh, as we can see, I have extended this out. Another one is an HV furnace. Um, just because when I get it, um, I'm tired of using charcoal and stuff. So uh, I am... Just gonna get this it's super cheap so we'll get that i know um the there is a multi smelter which is a multi-block which is much much quicker uh than a furnace but this is just so easy i figured why not just get this and uh yeah do that. Uh, the main reason is for steel well, that's unfortunate. I am. Oh, I have tons of aluminum. Just haven't smelted it up yet. Just throw that in there. Big batch. Yeah, for the. It's the wrought iron. Because I don't see any other recipe. I, th I could have sworn um, Greg Tech Community Edition had a. Uh, a blast furnace recipe for it. But maybe I'm. Maybe I'm mistaken. I, I could have sworn that it was like iron plus oxygen uh, and a blast furnace would get you steel, but it does not appear to be in there, so I have to smelt up the wrought iron so I can alloy smelt it. And now that we have that, I can actually go ahead and pulverize this charcoal dust because this is what I use for... Yeah, this is what I use for the, the carbon or whatever for that. So actually, why don't we I'm stealing it? Let's go ahead and. Oh, I already have. A, what am I talking about? I need wrought iron is what I need. So that recipe. We'll get that going. All right, so as we can see, got quite a bit of things to craft up. That still haven't got the extruder. Uh, it's not too bad, but I just I'm using. I'm just crafting everything up. <laughs> everything else seems to be taking precedence over in the extruder. But uh, as I was reading the. The quest here, um, it does say they must be constructed ex exactly as dictated by the blueprint. So um, I can't have, there's m many different types of outputs. So we're like, there's a one slot, four slot, six slot, nine, 12, 16, 32, as we can see. And I think, Yeah, I'm assuming, like, I can only have a small input. It has to be that. Um, so, there, yeah, there's, like, three different tiers. I just actually just had a thought. The It doesn't look like... Yeah, it looks like maybe 
you can't use like if I want to do this, I have to use the small one. And if I I can't use the like I can't use this on the bigger one, apparently. But it's good to know. How big is this thing anyway? It's <laughs> that is pretty big. What is that? Three, six, nine, nine by nine. Yeah, nine by nine. But uh, yeah, we're not quite there yet. Um, I I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm probably not gonna make recipes for these yet. I don't think there is. I don't know if there is a need quite for that. Um. Yeah, maybe I will make recipes for them, but just until we get a little bit easier patterns here because the patterns aren't i have the patterns use epoxy and i still haven't i'm only down i'm down to two <laughs> sheets so i'm trying to avoid it but anyway what i was kind of getting that we'll just do this manually for now so here we go there are the 16 machine casings we have the quantum computers somewhere did i put it yes i just threw it in there Right, and there it is. Interface. Let's go throw that on this auto output. On the back. Allow input from output. There, there, and there. Nice. So that is Steel fully automated, other than getting the, the iron. But uh, we basically got this automated. Still haven't decided how I want to do these. I'm thinking maybe having two two like imports on these one pulling out the polymer whatever that stuff i can't remember the name of it they whatever this stuff overworlding matter the matter and then we'll just have it running until this backlogs with the the things the, i can't remember the name of them these the pristine things so i'm assuming if like this is full, it'll stop. Is that's kind of what I'm thinking. Just so it's not running permanently. All right. So that there is that, and we should be able to like uh, let's see. Man, some of those are quite annoying. <laughs> but all right so this is what these are four each you can actually do them in an assembler if you just want four ingots if you'd want one but this recipe gives you two so like for example this yeah so you only need one of those so four so a seven i'm gonna i just want to make sure that uh we got the steel and everything Crafted up. Oh, I had a lot of wrought iron in there. Yeah, I had extra. Now, let's just make sure that's... I actually don't know how fast it is. How fast is this thing? All right. I mean, that is... That's pretty fast. And now we're not using... I don't have to worry about charcoal and stuff like that. All right. Uh, let me continue crafting all this stuff up. Nothing appears to be too crazy. I mean, maybe a motor and some steel, not too bad. This screen is just that stuff, not too bad. That's, I mean, this is all pretty, yeah. Energy hatch is just that plus four. That is not too bad. We should have this stuff over here. I only have, ah, right. I didn't have lapis. That's. 
Yeah, I don't have lapis, right? That's why I didn't. I need eight. All right, we're gonna have to buy lapis. I mean, we could go out and mine it, but what is the fun in that when you can just <laughs> spend all your coins on? Ta-da, lapis. And now, instead of throwing it in that thing, just put it in there. I don't know if there's actually a better way to... Is there a better way to get gems? I know, like, right to New Horizons, you do the sifting, but there is no sifter. Ah. The more efficient way would be to autoclave it. I'm not going to worry about that, though. Pulverize it down. You know, because you get 12 from that. So if we pulverize the ore down, we'd get 12 of that. We'd get some byproducts. And then you do that. You could wash it. You could thermal centrifuge it, however you want to do it. And, uh... Yeah, so there's more lapis. And, yeah. So that's probably the more efficient way, but I'm not. I'm really not, I don't really care about efficiency when, um, when uh, materials are so easy to obtain. If they were more difficult to get, yeah, I'd probably be processing everything in the most efficient way. Um, but yeah, when you can just buy it with coins, and I don't need tons of it at the moment, let's kind of do it. I mean, there is a difference between, you know, the conduits, if you do it manually. You get four. If you put it in an assembler, you get eight. Okay, well, that is such an easy... Like, there is no reason not to do that. It's the exact same materials, and you get doubled. So, yeah, why would you do that? But, like, like I said, those lapis... Okay, we have two stacks of lapis. Um, I'm not going to spend time setting up, like, a processing chain for it to get, like, three stacks. But, uh, all right, uh, let me cut here, and we'll come back. All right, I am just getting the last of the stuff we need here. I need the thickened glass to get the ineffable glass. What's that? There we go. We need four of that. There we go. That should be. The, there we go. There is the quest. Oh, nice. We get. Hundred for that. All right. So this requires HV. Obviously from the HV energy hatch. So it's got to have to go over here somewhere. All oh, right. Over here. It's like a good place. At least uh, until we get our kind of final base figured out here but uh right small what's it multi small what is it called my goodness what is it called <laughs> micro there we go uh it's machine blueprint that's probably why it wouldn't come up so let's see if we can do is that? All right, so the front needs to go there. Oh, which? It does look like you can actually use. It looks like you can actually switch out some of this stuff, maybe. All right, that, no, maybe not. All right, that's the energy one in the back, but it does look like you can maybe use different tiers. But, all right, let's get, let's see if we can get this. Craft it up. There's that. So, all right, the machine vents on top. The only thing is, I don't know which ones. 
Okay, so fluid input hatches to the left. And the input item is to the right. All right, so that fluid input hatch is to the left. Item input is to the right. Is that what I said? <laughs> yeah, that's the fluid input. That's the fluid output. Then the output there, and then that there. Probably power it from underneath. So output there. I think that is what it is saying. There, there, there. Yep. All right. So I think that is all that. Then we fill in that. The that goes on top. The four glass go like this. The quantum compressor goes on the inside. Yeah. And it did say something about this. I think it said. Uh, must be, make sure the quantum compressor is facing the controller too. All right, so this has to go. Like that. All right, I think that's I think that's it. I don't know if this I'm assuming something it turns green, doesn't it? If it's built correctly. I sort of remember that. All right. <laughs> Players fall through ineffable glass. All right, there we go. All right, so it doesn't turn green. It does it turns um that and then there we go. All right, so there is the microverse projector. Unfortunately, <laughs> I can't use it quite yet. A couple things we have to do here. Um, it does have a fluid input hatch because we need to give it some fluid. Um, if we, okay, let me leave this over here. Um, we're gonna need to put some rocket fuel in it and we're gonna have to get a micro miner. Now, Unfortunately, this does use these up. Microminers are single use. So if we really want to get this um, like a viable sort of uh, resource, we're going to have to get this automated. I'm just kind of curious what. So we look at this iron, tin. Redstone, nickel, uh, this is titanium, uranite is pulsating iron, although we have, we don't really need that. Glina, lead, lead, dilithium, and salt. So chlorine, this dilithium, it looks like it's used in other stuff. I guess it's used in ultimate gems, but, uh, and that. Ah, it's used in the large ones, it looks like. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, let me uh, figure out which part we want to do. Let me take a look at this recipe. It does, looking at this, looks crazy. Um, but LV, conductive iron, basic. Okay, it's not the simplest of things to make does require quite a bit of circuits. All right, that's easy. Well, these two are the easy. That's pretty easy. Just requires a bunch of circuits and, all right, nothing too crazy. So uh, yeah, we'll come back. All right, I am back and I'm just getting a few, uh, some more epoxid. Cause holy cow, do we use a lot of patterns? For this, uh, for the um, this steel uh, micro, I can't remember the name of it. Steel plated micro miner. 
yeah, but uh, I think we have most of it except for the two gears. But uh, we have there's that and wrought iron that. Let's do that. And then this last thing here, there actually was a quest. I did see that. So unfortunately, we don't have the advanced compressor. Um because we went ahead and crafted up the HV1. I guess. What are these called? Heavy steel. Steel heavy plating. We'll just do a thing for that and I think that's I think that's it that should be the entire thing automated but uh yeah hold that used that, that was a lot <laughs> and uh the circuits are a bit annoying because if you shift click them in it doesn't always put the, the one you actually need in there I don't know. I'm not going to craft this up ever. Feels kind of bad, but I don't know. We'll see if we actually need to complete that quest. All right, so there we go. There is everything there. So let's go ahead and get that crafted up. And uh, yeah, all right, so there's that working. I love how everything just switches on and <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. And uh, yeah, the last thing we're gonna need here, let's clean that so they stop flashing, is rocket fuel. Now, oh, I've been, I just crafted up some of this stuff for, <laughs> I just crafted this up but I didn't put it in a bucket, so it didn't complete. All right, so, yeah. Yeah, I was using this for, um, I use this for a little chloride, which I use for epichlorohydrate. I think that's how we're gonna get, how I'm gonna automate. I'm not gonna do the glycerol route with the seed oil and all this. No, I don't like that. So I think this is the route we're gonna take, but I haven't got it automated yet. Um, all right, so we need methanol. All right, well, we're not going to get a distillation tower for that. All right, this is like a lot of chemistry stuff. Just figuring out, oh man, I avoided a whole bunch of carbon monoxide. Why did I avoid it? What was I getting it from? I don't remember what I was getting it from, but oh, easy enough to make it though. What was I getting it from? I was getting it a byproduct from, ah, right, this. Uh, titanium. I was just voiding it because I was getting so much of it. All right, so I probably shouldn't void it. Um, all right, uh, yeah, methanol, hypochlorous acid, ammonia, it's anything. Yeah, a lot of this stuff isn't too bad. It's a lot of, like, the basic kind of nitrogen, hydrogen. I mean, I have tons of this stuff. 4 million, 3 million. I don't have a ton of chlorine, but yeah, 1.6 million. Uh, let me, yeah, I guess let me get some of this stuff ready and we'll see if we can make some rocket fuel today. All right, this stuff, uh, all of this first kind of stuff is actually really easy uh, to craft up. Just chlorine, water, Hydrogen and nitrogen, basically. They're all like very basic kind of ingredients for these first three. So we do we got here? Chloramine is hypochlorous and ammonia. Oh, See, that's easy enough. That's not where I wanted that. I wanted it in a bucket, so. Quest complete. 
There we go. So there's chloramine, dimethylene, which is ammonia and methanol. I actually only made, dang it, I only got one. I wish it had, it had I wish it had to get you two things of it. Um, there's a really easy way to do just carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. You don't even have to worry about carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. Um, so let's just do that. And I'm just doing the very minimum right here just to kind of get this. What was it again? One and no, four and one. That's right. Four, one, and some carbon. I think that was the. It's a circuit of three, I think. That one. Yep. Got some water in here. Right. Anyway, there is the methanol. Just avoid that water. And then what this was two methanol, one ammonia. Got all the chemistry today. And there is more water, but there is the dimethylene. There is that. Then we need this, that, whatever that's. <laughs> so we need one bucket of that and one of the chloramine. One of that, one of that. I haven't even looked at what tier like these recipes are i haven't even like that's his mb all right good we're not running into like well we have hv i don't think we're going to be having to use ev machines quite yet but uh so we do have any other diluted sulfuric out there but there is the dimethyl hydrazine i don't know what the one one means i have looked that up in the past I actually don't know what that means out. It's like ratio or something. All right, so mix oxygen. And then we mix that with the oxygen and we get three buckets of rocket fuel. And now if we do it with dinitrogen tetrioxide, we get a better ratio. Now, I'm just kind of curious why there is two pages here when they're exactly the same. I'm sure there's some reason, but there's four recipes, but there's they're exactly the same. But as you can see, like this really wasn't that difficult at all. It looks very um it looks very daunting when you first kind of look at it, but once you start breaking down all the different components, they're just basic. I have everything. I didn't even have to do anything extra. I literally just went over here and mixed everything in the correct ratios. That's not where we want to put that. We want to put that in a mixer even do it in here um it was that and what was it not chlorine was it chlorine i already forgot oxygen it's oxygen nope that's not what i want to do um also i noticed it doesn't for some reason it doesn't if you put all of them in it won't do it i don't know why it's a bit weird but yeah the cells are a bit funny nope mixer all right so there we go there is our rocket fuel I didn't get the sound. There is the sound. All right, so there is the rock fuel. Ah, that's gonna bug me. Oh, and I didn't pick that. I didn't pick it up either. I just crafted it into the thing. But uh, all right, we should have the steel. Yep, there we go. There is that. Is that a quest? No. So we need one more thing here. 
Right, so the quantum flux. And that is just a pulsating crystal with the extraterrestrial matter. But once we start running this, we'll get moon dust. And this will actually be much, much easier to craft up. Um, let's get this really quick and we will wrap up the episode here today. Yeah, it's just one and a diamond. It's actually, that's not even that. That's not even that bad either. Fluid extractor? Oh, yes. Fluid extractor. And I love these. These ender tank things are so good for moving partial amounts. I don't know if there's another item that stacks like the cells. I know. I'm pretty sure those don't. Oh, there's like tungsten cell. I didn't realize there was super large cells like that. Yeah, I don't see one. Those ones, the volume flask, what the volumetric, no. Those things in Greg Tech New Horizons that, uh, how'd you do? Oh. <laughs> um, autoclave, do we have an autoclave with no water in it? No. All right, this is the only autoclave I have, isn't it? We'll just have to, let's just break it. I didn't even look at, hopefully this is the right tier. I'm gonna be sad if this is the wrong tier. Please be work. Okay, good, it does work. All right, so there is the pulsating and is it this, right? Quantum Flux. And there is the thing right there. And this is all the stuff that we will get from it. This is your first microminder ever. Yes, this is not the last. These things aren't reusable. When equipped with a gemstone sensor, which may currently not be available yet, you get diamonds, epitite ore, fossil ore, quartzite. Uh, nothing super exciting yet it can also be used to bring stellar creation data but less efficiently than tier two the, yeah these things what is that altered dense hydrogen dense hydrogen solidified hydrogen all right I think that's just yeah hydrogen in a ball that's kind of funny and the these are used for yeah, like late tier stuff. So don't need to get that <laughs> quite yet. But uh, all right, so we're almost ready to use this. Um, unfortunately, uh, we are out of time. So we'll come back next episode and we will use this. Um, I do need more rocket fuel. I just wanted to get the quest completed um, and just kind of see. Uh oh. Well, there's a bug. Oh, no, it disappeared. It was just a visual. Yeah, it's just a visual. But, uh, oh, that's, nope. All right, that definitely was like a little buggy there. I lost, I lost one bucket of, yeah, I lost a bucket of uh, stuff there. All right, so be careful with that. <laughs> Maybe, is it somewhere? No. Yeah, uh, be careful with the fluid cells. They are a bit buggy, as we can see. I think I, I just lost a bucket of rocket fuel. I had three, right? Didn't I have three? Yeah, I had three buckets. All right, uh, but anyway, well, next episode we'll come back. I'm gonna craft up some more rocket fuel, and uh, yeah, check this out. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.